Hi, and welcome to your full body calorie burning cardio and strength workout. So we've got a timer on our first cardio section, 12 moves, 60 seconds for each move, no break. So steady state cardio on a timer. So you go at your own pace. Next, we'll move to our all standing weight section. Again, we've got six moves, 45 seconds on 15 rest. We're doing that two times. Finally, we hit the floor for a little bit more arms and chest, abdominals, and stretching. Let's go ahead and get started. We've got our work ahead of us. I'm using five pounds today. I wouldn't go too much heavier than that. Of course, always start with a lighter weight, or if you have two sets, grab what you have. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and start my timer. Step touch. We've got four arms reaching to the side and then four arms reaching up. You got it, again, go at your own pace. Obviously, the faster you move, the more you're increasing that heart rate, burning more calories. Really get a twist in there. Bend the knees. Good, next we've got some hamstring curls. So bringing the heel up to the bum. A little bit of a wider stance. Let's take an upright row with the arms. So elbows to the side, and then bringing them up to the chest. And just to keep things exciting, let's change this into a single, single, double. Single, single, double. Give a little push off with that foot. Keep the shoulders pressed down and back. You got it, a few more. All right, next we go into a small squat or a bend and then pop out with like a modified jumping jack, just alternating sides. Reach those arms down. Keep your chest proud. We bend down as low as you are comfortable. Pop out, step, reach to the side. When you're squatting down, or just bending, keep the weight in the heels that keeps the pressure off the knees. <sighs> 10 more seconds. After this, we're going into a grapevine, alternating sides, and then four toe taps to the front. Let's start, here we go, grapevine, tap, two, three, Four, grapevine, tap, two, three, four. You can swim with those arms. Big steps, as big as you have space for. Worry about the coordination. You just keep moving. Let's get one more in. All right, next left leg, repeater out to the side, and then we're gonna punch front. So side 
then bring it up to the knee or just the calf muscle. And we're gonna switch this one halfway through. Again, you can go faster if you want. You do you. Find a good pace where your heart rate is up, but you're still able to have a conversation. That's the perfect working zone. Switch. Straight forward, almost there. Next, we're just gonna march it out. Right here, march in place. Big inhale, arms come up. Catch your breath on this one. Inhale. Take the arms out to the side, give me a little circles. So we're just marching in place here. A little walking. Switching the arms up on you, take them back. Keep that march, take the arms in front, crisscross. Now hold them in front, crisscross a little faster. Squeeze the chest muscles. You got it, take it up and down. Next move. We're doing one kick, reaching for the toe, and then a double knee. Let's get into it. So kick, double knee, switch sides. Reach for the toe. Kick, double knee. Kick. We are halfway through with the cardio section. No big deal if you don't reach that toe, but try to stay upright and not bending over. Nice work. Stepping to the side and crossing behind on this one. And let's take the arms reaching over side to side. Feel the side of that waistline working as well. Big reach and try to get that toe behind the other foot. If it's too much for your arms overhead, you can take the arms in front. If it's easier on your shoulders, make the workout your own. Keep it up. Next, we're taking a toe tap to the front and then to the side, starting with our left leg. Here we go, toe tap front, side, front and side. Arms can be running and then a 90 degree little elbow lift. Again, don't worry about the coordination. Just keep moving or just do the legs. And this one we switch halfway through. So a few more on the left side. Let's switch. Tap the front, in, out, and in. Keep that standing leg with a little bend in it. Keeping all the muscles activated at once. You got it. Next, we're going to a wide little side lunge or knee bend. Coming back up side and out. Arms can come down and up, swing down and up. 
So toes going out to the corner. Chest is proud. You're going as low as you're comfortable or you're just stepping out to the side is great too. Straighten the knee and then bending the knee. Sit those hips back with the bend. Excellent, big dynamic moves. Getting the heart rate up. Burning a lot of calories. A few more here. Excellent. Take this leg forward and back. If you want, you can add a little bounce. Still low impact. All moves are always low impact. So you're just stepping front and back or taking that little jog with it. Big arms reaching front and back. And we'll switch this one in a couple seconds. Here we go, switch sides. Right leg front and back. Last big push, guys. One more cardio move after this one. Excellent. Last cardio move is like a skater. So kind of like the step cross behind. And we're going to push and push, push and push. So keeping it small, stepping behind, or again, you can add a little hop. Make it your own. We're almost there. Final push. Stay with me. And finish. Woo. Nice job, guys. Take a big deep breath. Exhale. Grab some water, take a quick little break if you need to, pause the video, and then grab your weights. Starting standing nice and tall, feet are directly underneath those hips, toes facing forward. Let's turn our hands so palms are facing in. Starting our timer now. Again, we've got 45 seconds on. And take one arm up, out, and then bring it towards the shoulder, and then we've got a double. We go single, single, and double. No matter what your weights are today, I want you to take the whole strength training really nice and slow and controlled. Slower is all often harder because we're not using momentum. So wide elbow. Okay, 15 seconds until our next move, which is a combination bicep curl. So we're gonna turn our palms facing out this time. And then we're also going to bring it forward and back, elbow back. Same pattern, so we curl up, single, single, double, reach it out, elbow back, release it down. Bicep curl, out, in, and down, double. And release the right and the left. Double. If this is too much, then just do singles. A few less reps, nothing wrong with that. And again, we have two sets of our strength training today. So save a little bit in the can, a few reserves. 
Excellent. Let's get the legs involved. We're going to do alternating curtsy lunges, really small. Again, you can keep it here, just a small step behind, or you can really bring that knee down. You do you what you're comfortable with. So we step to the side, curtsy down, nice proud chest, and then we have a dead lift in the center. Hips come back, straight back, down and up, out, lunge. Reach down and left. Try not rounding your back in any of these moves. Proud chest. Really working the back of the legs. Get one more in. And back to center. Shake that out. Nice job. Next, going back to the arms, we're going to raise our arm to the side, other side, and then we go double front. Here we go. Side, side, double front. Immediately, I feel my core engage. So go ahead and check that posture. Your belly button is pulled in. Front. And when we go to the side, it's not directly to the side, it's just a little bit at an angle to the front. Easier on those shoulders. And just like before, if the double front is too much, then single those out too. Nice work. Okay, next we're going arms out to the side again, overhead if you can, or just as high, maybe to the side. And then we have a single squat. Let's start with the left this time. So we go left, right, squat down and left, or a little bend if you're not comfortable with a squat. Weight in the heels. So we've got little bends in our elbows here. The arm is rounded going up, overhead or again, just to the side, if that's more comfortable for you. Down. All right, last move before we do one more set of all that again. Keep a nice wide stance here. Toes are forward. And we're gonna lunge to the side, one leg straight. Come up and then give me a wide bicep curl this time. Just alternating sides, wide bicep curl. Lunge and curl. When we lunge back, can weight in the heels and stick those hips back behind you. Proud chest. Only going as low as you are comfortable. And sneak one more in here. I like to make things even. Excellent. Okay, back to the front. Top. Our first move was that wide elbow pull back. This time we're going to start with our left arm. Remember our pattern is single, single, double. Elbow back, release it down. Elbow back. And pull back. Second set is also a good time to assess if your light, if your weights are too light or too heavy, good time to make a change. In order to build muscle and increase our strength, we've got to challenge ourselves. So it should be difficult. And slower is better. If you're using heavier weights, you won't be doing as many reps. But if you're using lighter weights, maybe you're going at a little bit faster pace. Both are good. Excellent. 
back to the bicep curls with the reach forward. So palms are up. Again, let's start with the left arm this time. Here we go. Bicep curl, reach it forward and down. Bicep curl. Good time for a posture check. Shoulders down and back. Little bend in those knees. Make sure that you're not sticking your butt back. And you're breathing. So good, almost there. And break. Next are those curtsy lunges with the deadlift in between the sides. So step out, step behind, bending both knees. Here we go. Both knees, proud chest. Bend forward, really working the back of the legs, those hamstrings. And it's okay if you're not making it all the way down there. Maybe just to the knees is good. You've got a little bend in those knees as well. Great one for the back of the legs and the butt. Job, shake it out. Going back to the side arm raises with the double front raise. Roll those shoulders down and back. Let's start with the left side, side, and front. Are you breathing? Muscles need the oxygen. I know sometimes, especially if you have heavier weights, tend to hold your breath. Try not to. Get one more set in. Job, shake it out, roll them around. Okay, alternating arms to the side with that little bent elbow over the head or just out here to the side with the squat. Here we go. Side, side, down, and left. I want you to make sure that you keep that shoulder pressed down and the elbow stays bent. Take a break if you need to. Almost there. Excellent job. Last strength move before we hit the floor. Going back to the alternating side lunges. A nice wide stance. This time, instead of doing a bicep curl, we're going to do a fly for the back. So here we go. We lunge side, hold it here, arms out, and pop back up. Lunge, arms to the side, really using those important back muscles here. You want to make sure that you are hinged forward, so you're working the back muscles and not the shoulders. Proud chest. your back is just not having this for any reason, you can go back to the bicep curls. So good. And last one. Great job, guys. 
Keep your weights. We have two more exercises on our mats on the floor section before we get into our abs. Okay, on our mat, we have two more exercises focusing on our chest and triceps. So coming down nice and slow onto your back. A little pelvic tuck so the small of your back is pressed into the floor. Feet are flat. And let's lift both arms straight up. Palms are facing in. We'll start the timer and we're doing our same pattern. We go single down, single down and up, and then double down and up. Single, single, and double. Keep your core engaged here as well. Belly button pulled into the spine. See if you can touch your elbows, just lightly tap them. Nice work. Next, we're coming into a skull crusher for the triceps and then one fly for the chest. So keeping a little distance, about fits width in between your fist. We bend the elbows, the weights come towards the sides of your temples. We do that two times, down and up, down and up, and then out, squeeze that chest in. Down and left. fly, one in. Only thing that's moving here is the forearms. Keep a little bend in the elbows as the arms come out to the side. Make sure you're breathing. Nice job. All right, one more set of each of those. We go into abs. Shake it out, drop the weights if you need to. Okay, get ready. Check that form, tuck the hips. Single press up, single press up, down and left. Back of the arms are getting nice and warm. Especially the back of the arms, those triceps are tricky to work, but this really gets into them. You're breathing, stay with me. Nice job. Take a little break. And we come back our, our the last time. For those double skull crushers. Here we go. Arms out. Arms in. Slow and controlled. that chest. Hang in there. I know you're feeling it. A little shake is good too. And we go into those abs. Done with the weights. Go ahead and put them down. Out of the way. For abs, let's bring our feet to a tabletop. Again, lower back into the floor. Shins are parallel to the ground. Hands back behind supporting the head. We're gonna reach over to one side, back to center, reach over the other side, back to center. Just alternating sides, supporting the head. More advanced version would be to pick up and straighten the one leg, but you do you. And you'll be happy to know that there are no repeats 
on our ab exercises. Just two more after this. Keep the tummy tucked in. So good. All right, all the way down. Pull the feet a little bit closer to your bum. Again, hands will be supporting the head and the neck. Combination here, we're gonna lift our hips into a glute bridge, and then a little crunch. Lower the head and neck, lower the bum. So a combination. When you lift the head and neck up off the floor, I want you to think about lifting up and not forward. And lift. hips lifted somewhat limit our range of motion so just make sure not you're not falling on your neck squeeze the glutes nice job last ab exercise we're coming up onto our elbows making sure that we are lifted and not sunken in core is pull in and we're simply going to pull our knee in, extend the leg out, back in and down, alternating sides. To make it more advanced, you can come back into that tabletop position. So pick whatever is best for you. This is a great one for those lower abdominals. stays lifted really using the weight of your leg those lower abdominals pulling it in that was quick all right well deserved let's stretch gently lower yourself back down Let's extend our arms and legs as long as you can reach those fingertips. Stretch through those toes, big inhale. Exhale. One more time, big reach, inhale. Exhale, lower the arms to the sides. And let's bend our knees. Feet flat on the floor. Taking your right knee, let's hug it into our chest. Releasing any tension in the lower back and for a little stretch in the glutes. From here, extending it to the ceiling and give me a couple ankle circles to the right, to the left, and point and flex, point, flex. One more time. And then gently hug that leg in to feel a stretch, that hamstring in the back of the leg. Hold here. Now let's bend that knee, taking the ankle above the left knee. Pick up that left foot, gently grabbing underneath the left thigh. So knee is coming out to the side. Immediately you should feel that in your hip and in your glute. Keeping the foot flex protects the knee joint. You can rock and roll a little bit here if that feels good. Hold that stretch. Taking that right leg, crossing it all the way over the left like we're sitting cross-legged in a chair. And then give those knees one more hug in. Uncross the legs. Drop the right foot and pull the left knee into the chest. Extending it up, a couple quick ankle circles. Reverse direction. And point and flex the foot. Holding the flex, gently pull the leg towards you. Give me a big inhale. Exhale. 
crossing ankle over the other knee, hopping that leg, draw that in. Hold this nice stretch here, big inhale. Let it out. And then let's cross left leg all the way over the right. Reach down, grab whatever you can get a hold of. Knees come in towards the chest. Take another deep breath. Lower the right foot to the floor. And then using the weight of your left leg, let's come over onto our sides and then gently lift yourself up into a seated position. Whatever is comfortable for you, legs can be straight in front or you can sit crisscross, maybe with your hips supported with the pillow. Reach that right arm to the side, up all the way over. And then round the back and let's take the hand gently to the outside of that knee keeping the back around and feeling a beautiful stretch here in the upper back. All the way up and back over, same to the other side, reach it. Round the back, opposite hand to the knee, gently lean back, little gentle pull again. back up and over both arms out to the side let's do a couple shoulder rotations here releasing any tension in the shoulders this is a great one for mobility as well one more crisscross in front give yourself a big hug walk those fingers back inhale exhale and other side arms back out to the sides crossing the other arm on top this time again big hug stretching the shoulders release shake it out flex your palms towards me fingertips reaching towards the floor with straight elbows then we take it out to the side open up the chest here and then just flip the rest so thumb is facing down and then very gently leaning forward clasping the fingers behind you open up that chest good hold it here a couple deep breaths relax the shoulders arms reaching to the sides take the ear towards the shoulder And then other side. Let's come back to center. Extend your legs in front. Okay if the knees aren't straight. Inhale. Exhale. Just leaning slightly forward. Let's try to keep our back neutral or straight. Try not to round it here at first. Proud chest. Big inhale. Exhale, then round the back and drop the chin. Got another deep breath. And let's roll it up. That one never gets easier, does it? All right, let's cross one ankle on the outside of the leg. Arm comes up, big twist up and over. Beautiful spinal twist. back to center other side reach that arm up twist it over and a little push against it to emphasize get a little deeper into that twist relax the shoulders release back to center give me a big inhale crisscross the arms and back for a little tricep stretch here the elbows towards the ceiling again a little side lean and a little side lean 
patting yourself on the back for a job well done. I'm so proud of you. Thanks for working out with me. Please give this video a like, share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for working out with me again. See you next time.